Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products and Focus. So most global markets kind of hit the skids a little bit later on in last night's session after coming up a multi-session high with the US 30 breaking above 17,034. We've had a retracement pretty much right back down to that level today with a modest bounce first thing this morning. Technical indicators are slowly moving into overbought territory, so not massively surprising that we've had a little bit of a retracement. And the latest data out of China, again, has been slightly mixed, putting extra focus on potential monetary easing in China, just as Singapore overnight has embarked on its own monetary stimulus measures um, to protect the Singaporean dollar. So that's where we are with the US 30. If we move on to the UK 100, where the kind of reversal on commodities has been more firmly felt. Very negative day yesterday because of that reversal on commodity prices. Um, that's a bearish engulfing pattern and a half. We pretty much bang on hit that 55 period SMA uh, with um, 6,300 being the potential support. We're a little bit on the wrong side of that level right now, but we're, hard, we're not exactly going through a technical breakout at the moment. Um, the slow stochastic is slightly overbought uh, and we're almost getting the acceleration of the MACD histogram with the Mac, MACD almost close to crossing over near the zero line, but it's not happened as of yet. But if you look at this candle in a little bit more detail, it's not, it's just turning red just as we're speaking right now. Uh, so maybe we might see a little bit of an acceleration to the downside if uh, commodity prices come off some more. So then having a look at Japan 225, it's down slightly on the back of those mixed Chinese data figures. Um, looks to be kind of hugging this potential sloping trend line, but also the 21 period SMA with 18,300 and change just being slightly too difficult for that market to, uh, to kind of break through. So moving on then to, to dollar yen, and we had seen the US dollar lose a bit of momentum before still losing momentum as those um, interest rate kind of hopes continue to, uh, to kind of fade away. Uh, with uh, one spot 19 being the longer term potential support, we've been in this range for some time uh, with 121.87 being potential resistance and 119 being potential support with short, short term potential support around about 119 spot 80 as well. So I'm just having a quick look at my intraday charts as well, and I'll come back to that in a second once they load up. Um, and we'll move on to West Texas crude. So West Texas uh, had been going through quite a big uh, upwards push. Graveyard doji formation there on Friday, a 4% drop on Monday, another acceleration to the downside yesterday, and we've got a kind of a, kind of a spinning top formation first thing this morning. And um, Arguably, you could be looking at 45.85 as a potential support, which was just from this trend line right here. Um, and we have seen evidence of, of selling pressure with the tips of these candles there before. Um, but yeah, it looks like we, we could be in the middle of two longer term ranges, one at 42, the other one closer to 49.50. Um, with this level slap bang in the middle of 45.85, that could be a level to look at. But to be fair, I don't think West Texas crude is going to be that popular while it's hovering in the middle of these ranges at the moment. So then moving on to gold, which should be having a good time, which it is. Um, in regards to U.S. rates, gold and U.S. Uh, rates are very sensitive to each other, usually working in uh, opposing directions. And what we're seeing here is a technical breakout above 1168. The next potential resistance is at 1205. So you could be looking at 1168 as a staging ground. Uh, if there is any reversal or any retracement later on today, uh, interesting, interesting candle yesterday where we were much lower than for it to reverse later on in the session and bust up that little bit higher. So that is, uh, that is an interesting chart to look at. So gold probably going to be quite popular throughout the day. So then finishing up with the uh, euro dollar and GBP USD, uh, euro dollar is grinding slightly higher towards one spot 1475. We've broken out of that symmetrical triangle formation. Other technicals are relatively neutral. Um, so we should be uh, still moving in the right direction. Some, some interesting momentum there on Euro dollar. Looking at pearl cable, though, cable had a bearish engulfing pattern yesterday, not making some great headway, making a pattern of uh, lower highs. You've got a high, lower high, lower high, lower high again. With one spot 51.85 looking like it's going to be a, a quite an important strategic support level for a number of traders out there. So that's where we currently sit with the major products. Market calendar wise, as I said, we've already had uh, some slightly mixed uh, data coming out of China. CPI not coming in uh, as expected, slightly lower at 1.6 versus 1.8. PPI came in as expected, but nothing special to be honest. 
Later on in the session, we have UK unemployment claims, we have industrial production, uh, and we also have retail sales and PPI from the US. So actually today has a fair amount of macro data to be aware of. And then when we go on to Thursday, we've got uh, US CPI, uh, and you've got employment claims, and of course you've got the Philly Fed index, and finishing up there with the, with, with the kind of crude oil inventory data uh, which is going to be quite keenly watched uh, on West Texas crude. So join me again uh, over the next few days uh, to find out what happened next.